We control Bravo. So after working through the horrendous UI design of the menus, I've had a chance to play Modern Warfare 2's third-person multiplayer modes under the third-person mosh pit uh, playlist. Um, but I will say this, though. The third-person mode plays very well. It's buttery smooth. I personally like the camera angle for your character. Um, I like that they didn't go full Gears of War by giving the players kind of like this, like, sticky cover um, because I don't think that it would have worked well um, in, in Call of Duty, okay? Um, I, I think that um, I, I've, I've seen people mention like kind of like Rainbow Six Vegas like oh what if they did like a first person third person switch where you can kind of swap between on the fly again I don't think that that would work for Call of Duty um, because Call of Duty is such a fast paced game and it's so arcadey it's like you know if you give players too much um, options to hide it just makes the game even more upsetting and more annoying to deal with because look you already have moments like this where you spawn in and you get fucking killed through guys in windows so that's another point right there the spawn system i've had pretty i've, I've had gen generally good spawns for the most part um but there's gonna be some times where like you know you get into the situation where you spawn in and you're you have guys already in a firefight and they're like right in front of you and you're just like great i'm just thrown right into this man all right so that's kind of like how the experience feels maybe that'll be tweaked with time um, another thing too is that I also wanted to mention is that uh, the vibe is completely different. It's it's a different vibe in the sense that the gunplay is completely different. You're you're mostly relying on your reticle. Um, sorry, not even your scope. Like not the scope. You're not aiming through scopes unless the scope is four times scope or higher. I believe then you can actually use your reticle. You can actually like scope scope in with it. Um, but for for the most part, if you're not using any sort of scopes, which a lot of us aren't when they're first starting out, um, you're going to be running around shoulder aiming, shooting. It's not for everyone. Um, if you're only an FPS person, then you probably will never touch this mode because it's not going to really offer you anything unique or, or stand out other than the fact that you can see your cool gear. And I will say that the character models in this game are top notch. So obviously this game looks great, guys, okay? But um, I will also say this about the maps. The maps are a little larger they usually, than they usually feel in Call of Duty, I'd say. Um, they feel slightly less cramped. However, there is still going to be uh, those, those, those fair share of choke points where you'll either love or hate um, when it comes to maps, right? Uh, those those po those points where everyone kind of meets up and is just getting into these wild gunfights. I've also had other experiences where I'm getting into exchanges at, at medium length distances too. So like getting into little gunfights, exchanging fire with the enemy at a pretty decent uh, um, at a pretty decent uh, distance. And I, it's not something I'm I, I'm used to experiencing when playing Call of Duty, but it's something that I've experienced here. And I do like the mounting wall cover. I think I should have mentioned that earlier when I was talking about the Gears of War and how it doesn't feel like that, like there's no sticky cover, but they do have the same thing that the first person mode gives you. And it's that fact of you mounting walls, uh, mounting cover. So that that's what this game gives you. And I think it works very well in the third person mode. I think that's something that translates well from first person to third person. And I think the gunplay, again, doesn't really have a Gears of War nature to it. Sure, when you use shotguns and you're just doing that kind of blind hip fire style, you might get a little bit of a Gears of War feeling to it. I mean, that's what I did. But again, it does not feel like that. It doesn't feel like Gears of War. It feels like Call of Duty, but just uh, but just put in a third person mode. One sec, I got to sip my coffee. <sighs> talking too fast, talking too much. Okay. Um, and just like Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I, I want to mention this. Um, you, you don't get a good visual indicator of how good weapon stats are. It's all it gives you is bars, man. And it's just frustrating when games do that because it's like, give us some numbers, give us stats, give us better things to work with in those menus rather than spending all your time like fucking making these trash ass menus that just don't help, man. All they do is clutter your fucking main menu and make players have a not a great time like for me personally like those menus are just fucking atrocious and i hope they fix them soon um i've always had the most fun to in, in third person mode when i'm trying to like get to the elevated sides of the map so like picking off dudes from like say rooftops really kind of utilizing the, the different features of each map and really kind of you know playing to their playing to the strengths of the map that's when i that's where i had the most fun in third person mode and um, there's still gonna be some frustration happening. Like I, some, I could not do any takedowns when I was playing, but mind you guys, this is more of a first impressions type video. This isn't me playing like multiple hours and then giving my takes. I think I played about 10 games and now I'm recording this video or now I recorded this video because we're almost done here. But I just really wanna kind of get my first impressions out there. I really, again, I don't think you should pay full price for this game if you're going for the multiplayer only, okay? And I would not either, I, would, I wouldn't even pay full price 
for this game if you're going also just for the first person mode. I think this is a game that unless you're a hardcore Call of Duty fan, you can wait until it cuts in price. Wait until it cuts in, in, in price by 70% in like a year from now, or who knows, maybe two years from now. But here, if you're, if you're, if you're coming here just for the, for the campaign, I should have said this, I should say this in an actual review for the game, but I'll say this now, if you're coming here just for the campaign, uh, don't buy the game full price. If you're coming here just to experience a third person mode, don't pay full price. And again, unless you're a hardcore fan of this and you really, really want to play it, okay? So that's my little take here. Um, do I recommend the third person mode? Yeah, of course. Do I recommend it over the standard multiplayer mode? No, I prefer the, the first person mode a little bit more than the third person mode in Call of Duty. However, again, this really does fit like a glove. And I think that if you're someone who's really like good at the first person mode, I think you will be just as good, if not even better, if you put some time into the third person mode. Because again, you can third person view around corners, really kind of get the upper hand on your on your enemy. But again, they can do the same right back to you, okay? The, sorry for the for the noise outside. I don't know if you guys can hear an extra bit of bass happening right now. There's a truck passing by. Um, but that's really it. I'm going to end it off here, guys. Okay, so that's the that's that's my little review of the third-person mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to probably share my, my overall thoughts of the entire game uh, once I finish the campaign. Um, but uh, until then, guys, I really do appreciate you being here. And as always, thank you for watching. Take it easy. And let me know what your thoughts are on the third-person mode.